Good luck's all around. <laughs> Thanks, Crackle. Appreciate the support. All right. We're going to hop into this. Everyone's readying up. All right, so big map open. The whole theme of this tournament is we like big maps and we cannot lie. And that includes this map here, which is the Conquest of Stockholm. And this is a map, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't played it too much. I'll bring up the bonuses here in a second. It looks like we have a bunch of uh, alliances getting started and popping off here. Uh, looking forward to seeing how many of those get betrayed as the game goes on. Uh, Magenta Tiger goes first. Um, popping up next to a portal there. Targeting some threes. Looks like he's just asking some, uh, some folks to move out of the way. Takes a quick card and makes a seven off of four to five. All right, red is up, Bradamite. Takes a bonus and smacks out a three. Uh, cause he's going for the homie play there. Purple just takes a card. Doesn't look like he's doing anything fancy. At least not just yet. Now it's Cecil's turn. Cecil go ahead, goes ahead and grabs a bonus. Green hit and a lot of pink to get a bonus. And making a fortify on the left side of the screen there. So speaking of the bonuses, well, Blue is finishing their first turn. All right, so we've seen everyone take their first turn. Blue has a bonus. Um, pink is off bonus. So is Purple, but it looks like everyone else. Yeah, everyone else has a bonus. All right, so let's take a peek at the bonuses here. Um, that is not the right map. Let me pick the right map here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut that off so I can get the right map situated here. So the bonuses for Stockholm, you have, let's see, five plus fives? Am I counting that? Six plus fives. Norhelm, Nora, wait, Nora Gamla, Nora Salcyon, Gremunky, Solderman, I'm butchering these names, and Vaster. One, two, three, yeah, that's six. And then you have two plus sixes right in the middle here, Central Gamla and Horn Hamstork. I don't know why I am torturing myself and you guys by trying to read these, <laughs> but we're going to keep going because we're too deep now. So a couple of plus fours, Nora Malaren Strand and Sodra Saltson's Strand. 
<laughs> and then three plus threes. Hel Helgians Holman, Trey Cronar, and Sodra Malarnstrand. All right, let's get that shut off because the whole board probably changed. Okay. Purple has got their, themselves a bonus. And so does Magenta now. And I don't think they had bonuses before. Red went ahead and grabbed that bonus off on the right. And we have some uh, some interesting blizzards here. With um, with this being cut by a blizzard, the only way in here is the portal and this. This, this long stretch here, connection with point there. Um, and it doesn't look like there's too many other blizzards that really do much of consequence. Uh, this seems to be the main blizzard that would, is likely going to cause issues. A every other blizzard is, is fairly simple to play around. Yeah. Crackle says, no way they let Bradamite hold a plus 10. Well, someone's going to have to break them. Purple is uh, just begging anyone he can talk to, to to attack Red, but it's up to Pink now. If Tiger doesn't break Red, then Red gets his plus 10. It's a spicy hold. I mean, another turn, another bonus seems to be red strategy after two turns here. So, which is a great strategy if you can if you can hold them. <clears throat> All right, let's see what uh, Tiger's gearing up to do here. Does that five on the portal? Ooh, six trying to smack a four. Nope, he's just asking it to move out of the way. And then he hits white. Does not break red. Red gets their plus ten. That's twelve troops there. And he's... Spreading the love from that plus 10 all around. It doesn't look like he's focusing on anything aside from doing a little bit of guarding. Which makes sense. You don't, you're you already holding a plus 10, so you probably don't want to make too many enemies. You were definitely fortunate <laughs> to, to, hold that, to hold two bonuses over one turn cycle. How much do we like Bradamite? Um... I don't I don't know if uh I don't know if we like him as as much as uh these other five here, letting him hold two bonuses like that. <laughs> Crackle says not enough to let him hold that. Yeah. Uh Green is is telling or yeah, Samboy's telling Bane uh to attack that they can attack each other. I'm not hundred percent sure where. But uh, Bane gave him the thumbs down, so it doesn't look like that is going to happen. Maybe he was proposing to card trade somewhere. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Bane just takes a quick card. And fortifies over. Makes a six. And that bottom left bonus there. And white goes for a second bonus. I uh, these bonuses are not as big as the as the one that uh, oh keeps punching. Okay, making another position out there on that island. Yeah, the uh, so yeah, red is on two plus fives, and white is on a plus three and a plus four. So white's on two bonuses, but his are a little bit more reasonable than reds. Ooh. 
green says okay let me get on this two bonus game action that i mean there's a lot of bonuses on this map it is a big map um so there might be just enough room for everyone to have two bonuses the problem is if everyone grabs two bonuses then uh no room to trade cards in anymore Harlow says, I need people like this on my game willing to let me hold half the bonuses. Yeah. Yeah, I need I need some more friends like these, right? With friends like these, who needs opponents? All right. I got to remind myself the value of green's bonuses. Ooh, green is on a plus five and a plus six. So that is better than what red is holding if green holds it. Ooh. That was not a soft break. Red slams a six to break green. He could have slammed... He could have done a four one here. He could have done this. But no, he was sending a message with that. Yeah, wow is right. Let's see if green does anything in retaliation. If I was green, I certainly would. Purple is thinking. He's telling green to attack red. And purple attacks red. Ooh, slider messes him up a little bit. Slider's still getting him. That'll fix your slider. There you go. So purple goes ahead and takes green's old plus five. But that was a little bit expensive. Uh, apparently plus ten is cool, but plus eleven is too much. Right, yeah. Let's see if purple holds his second bonus. Ooh. White. Decides to break green here. There's some nasty business going on. So I, I, it's almost like there's teams forming. It looks like purple and green are kind of working together, and red and white are kind of working together. <laughs> Yo, yeah, the thumbs up and the hearts going all around. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, blue and magenta are just chilling on their one bonus, like. These guys are greeting out and getting slammed. If I were Sandboy, I'd be fuming right now. Yeah. Yeah, he's... I mean, two people broke you. So how do you... Where do you direct your rage if you're Sandboy? Let's see what he does. Okay. Takes a bonus. He's He's bottling his rage for now. And we'll see if that happens later on. First time chat from Token. Tiger just sitting tight outside the war. That's right. Yeah, plus 11 was probably too much, but he didn't need to get broken on a six guard, and I don't think he needed to get broken in the second bon on two bonuses, right? Uh, blue goes ahead and takes a second bonus. see what red does. Does red continue the bullying? Uh, if I'm blue, I steal purple second bonus. Yeah. I'm assuming you're talking about last turn, because if he does it now, then that would be three bonuses, which is definitely too many. Yeah. Yeah, red's in a very nice spot here. Yeah, last turn. Yep. All right. 
we see any more breaks? The Tiger's doing pretty good. Because ti Tiger's only like five troops behind uh, Brady. And, um, and Tiger only has the one bonus. Purple was able to hold both of theirs. Cecil's still on both of his. Takes a card over on the top left of the screen there. Green retakes his second bonus. Okay. Green has decided to let cooler heads prevail. Blue was able to hold their two bonuses. And is going to continue to trade cards with white on the, uh, the top left there. All right. Now we get to see the first round, uh, the first uh, round of trades come out. Nobody card skipped, so as long as no one dies, everyone should be getting their normal trade on the first round here. Which I don't think anyone's on Death Store. Green is the weakest in terms of troops, but I don't think anyone is strong enough off of these sets here to kill Green. But I've been wrong before. Pink has excellent positioning to make kills. I, I think you're right, because Pink is dead center of the board, sitting on a portal, and has stacks where all the exterior positions are. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. Let's see what Red does. Does Red uh, piss anyone off again? They, Red is making exterior position in the top left there. Which is good, but because these portals are stable, it's not, um, it's not as good as it would be if these were unstable portals. But, uh, if not this round of trades, the next round of trades. Yeah, I think we start seeing, um, bounties get taken during the second round of trades. Okay, Bane being very methodical with where he's placing troops, punches white off the portal, and gets the spam thumbs down from Cecil, and then moves off the portal. Do we see, do we see white retaliate for that? Uh, Crackle, thank you. I, uh... I wanted to mention this at the top, but yeah, we're, we're going to shout out our sponsor, Route 66 HVAC. They're sponsoring the entire event. Um, Mongoose is the owner and is demonstrating what other sponsors may be able to get in return for supporting our community here. Um, so please go check out their company and leave a review about how awesome you think he is, as well as their company over at Route66HVAC.com slash testimonials. So uh, check that out if you guys get a chance to. Uh, Cecil did decide to break Bane in retaliation. Green sets with the uh, 12 trade. And takes a card. Ooh, Bane with the spicy set on three. 
We'll see if he uses that. It's always nice to have that option, but sometimes you don't want to use it. Blue gets the biggest trade. All right. So blue was not doing so hot in troop counts a second ago, but is now um, tied for second in troop lead with Tiger. Uh, Brady is still first. I should call him Bradamite, but I don't know. Brady just seems shorter. <laughs> uh, no one is setting on three yet. And then uh, it looks like Bane is actually um, the weakest. Well, he was the weakest a second ago. Now Cecil's the weakest. Yeah, the, this game is pretty even. Pretty even so far, uh, aside from Brady being out in front. I wonder if Brady might goes for Blue's kill if Blue goes to four cards. Brady, now we know how much you like me. <laughs> uh... Sergeant Space Scope PRT, let's go big maps open. That's right. Bane retakes. Chose not to use his set on three. Let's see what Cecil does. I think they're going to let bygones be bygones there. Yep, Cecil just takes a card. Ooh. Green punches some white. Ooh, are we seeing a Cecil feed? Green says, good game. Okay. Tiger did not set on four. That's wild. Bradamite sets. I think Bradamite has an easy kill on Cecil here. Or an easy-ish kill. Can he get it? I think he's got it. He still has the 20 from the portal, so this should be fine. Probably adjusting his slider here just to damage that 20 a little bit. Yeah, he's going to double tap it and then finish with the 27. Very nice. Uh, so I'm curious. I'll have we'll have to ask in the wrap up. I'm curious why um, Sam Boy decided to feed Cecil there. Uh, I am the third to hit Sam Boy, and he retaliates on me. Yeah, that was that was interesting. I didn't think he'd retaliate on you that excessively, um, Cecil. Okay. Cecil, you've been hella unlucky lately. Um, Bradamite sets. I don't think he's going to go... Yeah, he's not going to try for any chain or anything. He's just going to sit with his troop lead and his card count lead. Bane sets. Haha, <laughs> yeah, six tourney games in a row. Wow. Yeah, that is a that is quite a string of bad luck. Uh, Harlow says, you did break his other bonus, and Quarantine says, it happens. I'll never forget when I got sixth in all three of my tourney games in one week. Yeah. Yeah, that is some bad luck. Hey, what's wrong, fella? Everything okay? Are you thirsty? There you go, Bubba. No, you gotta run off to bed with Mom there, okay? Doesn't look like purple's going for any kills. We're just punching a little bit of blue. Alright. 
who's streaming right now? I'm Micah. How are you? Uh, Mitch, thank you for that. Uh, yeah, I'm a new broadcaster, I guess. You can... I, I'm sure my green is showing, so... <laughs> Uh, green sets on four. Let's see what he goes for. It looks like he's going for Tiger. Yeah. S not having a set on four is almost always a death sentence. And um, it looks like the Grim Reaper in the form of Sandboy has come for Tiger. Um, takes a kill on Tiger, who was on five cards. Harlow says I'm doing a great job. Gracias, amigo. <laughs> uh, estoy encantado que tú estás desfru uh, desfrutando uh, en mi narración, I guess. I don't know. My Span my, uh, my, I'm not quite fluent in Spanish, but I can, uh, I can speak it well enough to be dangerous. So, uh, Let's see what Green decides to do. Just, just chills with his troop lead. Or not troop lead, but he chills with that kill, sits on it. And is now on three bonuses. He's probably not going to hold three bonuses. Yeah, red is asking people to attack green. Purple, yeah, red and... Yeah, red asked purple to attack green, and purple asked blue to attack green. So that is probably going to happen. Um, yeah. Red probably breaks at least one of green spots. Yeah. No trade for... No trade for blue is rough. Very rough. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you you imagine that uh, that green can probably kill blue, though there is a there is a little bit of a kill guard on blue that red has down there in the bottom left. So we'll see if he can hang on to that spot. It will make the blue kill harder for green. That is assuming that red doesn't have it right now, which without a set, I don't think he does. <clears throat> More unfortunate, Brady Might doesn't have one on three. Yeah. Uh, I don't know when Kilted's Drizcon game is. People are th saying that green is going to kill red and then kill blue. Okay. Yeah, that could happen. Let's see what Bane does. Yeah, Brayden might would... Pr yeah, he probably would just win out right with a set on three. Uh, Space Coat says, oh shoot, I missed it. Uh, if he kills Bradamite here. Oh, yeah, the uh, that Drizcon game, I guess, was earlier today. Okay. How big are the trades right now? Um, yeah, that is something I should know, huh? I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> uh, they seem to be around the 30, 35 range, I think, right about now. Nathaniel says probably around 40. Yeah, that sounds about right. Purple steals a bonus from red. Locks a 69 stack. We don't see any dabs for the 69 stack. We should be dabbing in stream, though. Um, I don't know. Maybe we don't dab for a 69 stack that you lock. Come on now. Um, you gotta you gotta let your uh, your freak flag fly, right? Gotta free the 69 stacks. All right, green sets. Let's see what he does. Sam does kill Bradamite. I don't think he'll be able to kill Blue in the same turn. Yeah, well, he's definitely taken a lot of time to think about what he wants to do. It looks like he's just going to set and take a card. I don't think he's going to do anything spicy with this much of a clock already burned. He's going to hit some Blue on the left, maybe? Yeah, hit some Blue on the left. Uh, punches Red out of there. Breaks red and retakes his uh, his third bonus. Yeah. Blue survives to set on five. Yeah, he was definitely thinking about it. Blue can't really do much, though. Uh, I don't think he has the red or purple kill. If he If he has anyone, I think it would be red. But I don't think he quite has the troops to kill Red. If he went for it, it would be very close. 
but yeah, with this much clock already eaten, yeah, hit some green and just makes his 96 stack bigger. Ah, the 96 stack, the evil twin of the 69 stack. <laughs> um, red is probably going to break green and retake. Ooh, red did not have a set on for. That's not, that does not bode well for red mine. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're right, Harlow. I think blue, um, had the red kill there, but it would have been really tight. Bradamite is just running around punching everybody. Um, the only people not red that still have a bonus is purple. And I'm assuming it's because red didn't want to unlock that 69 stack. Um, ooh, red has a set on three. Yeah, or, or Bane has a set on three. Does he have the red kill here with the set on three? If he does, he needs to use it. I think he would if he didn't lock his 69 stack. I think he has it easy. He might have it anyway, even with it unlocked. He's about to drop 63 troops down. But he's he sure is eating a lot of clock. Um... We see the oops come out. Yeah, I don't think... Ooh, punches some green. Okay. Yeah, if that 69 stack was not... Yeah, you need to... For... Yeah, very good. Okay, the 69 stack is unlocked. But it looks like red... Unless blue has a set on three, looks like red is going to survive to trade his five. This is a very tight game. Green comes out to break some red and retake some bonuses of his. He should be a little bit careful. You gotta watch the feed at this stage. Unless he's going for it. He's hitting so much that it looks like he's going for it. Yeah. Blue probably think... I think blue ha Yeah, blue has the kill without a set. Green hit red way too hard. So we'll, we'll see if... Uh, we'll see if this works out for him. Punches up there. That's a good split. Very good split by, by uh, Laney Baggins there. I think... I think green might have had a... Might have had... Yeah, might have had a Samboy. Or sorry... I think Samboy might have had Bradamite, um, but it it was probably too close. But he definitely hit him way too hard, because um, the unlocked 96 stack of uh, Laney Baggins was sitting there, waiting to pounce. And now trades and goes for the green kill, probably gets the Samboy kill here. And with that, that would, that's this is probably going to button up the game here. As long as he doesn't make any pathing mistakes, he should be good to go. Yep. Okay. Sets. Gets the 70 trade. And Bane is nowhere close to a set. Laney's going to get another trade. Odds are Laney gets a trade before Bane does. He could have a trade right now. Yeah, gets, gets, really, gets a solid dice too all throughout that kill. Yeah, there's not really much you can do here if you're Bane. I guess if you're still playing to win, you try and break all the bonuses, but... Not looking pretty, and I don't think he's got enough troops to break everybody. He, well, no, he's got. He still has a five up there on the top left, so he can. He might have just enough to break those, and he has that eight. Yeah, yeah, he can still break some stuff. Make blue work for it a little bit more, but but 
Bane needs to somehow survive two more turns and then hope for a set on three. I uh I don't think it looks too good. Yep. Blue is retaking all the bonuses that were just broken. And is probably going to be able to hold a lot of them. Looks like is going to let... Yeah, is going to let Bane hang on to a bonus. I think that's a, that's a minor error. Probably won't cost him the game, though. Yeah. <laughs> Bane needs to get a set on three and needs blue to not have a set on four. <laughs> um, and even without a set on four, I think blue still kills him anyway. So I think this is a, this is a GG even with no set on four. Yeah. Laney having a terrific big maps open so far. Yep. See a couple more breaks, but uh, a manual, not good enough on the dice there. Yep, throws out the GGs. Uh, yeah, I mean, Bane, I, I, I don't have, t you know, I don't think you can say too much about Bane's play here. He played just fine, um, but <laughs> Blue, Blue got an excellent feed. Um, Thanks to uh, Samboy killing Bradamite. So, oh, he does have a trade on three. Wow. And uh, he did get the trade on three, but Blue had a trade on four. So Blue's gonna go ahead and finish the game here, assuming that there's no pathing errors, which all these guys are good enough not to make those errors. That's a GG. Well played, Laney. All right. So we'll uh we'll hang out here for a little bit. See if any of the guys want to come in for a post game wrap up. Good evening. Hello, sir. Uh, 